Welcome everyone back to weekly weather updates and in today's video we're going to have the latest from the live radar from the UKV, have a look at the precipitation and the temperature over the next five days as it is, is continuing to look bone dry as we do head into the first full week of November. Temperatures do look like they will be up and down, hovering though generally around average or slightly above average. There is the risk of a bit of drizzle with some of the thicker cloud around which will be a bit unfortunate but for most as i said it is going to be bone dry as we head into the longer range high pressure look like it's going to continue to be a mainstay feature it doesn't look like it's going really anywhere the gfs is toying with it pushing slightly further northwards potentially even developing easterly winds into the longer range kind of the middle portion of november so not anytime soon but toying with that idea, the other runs, GM and ECMWF, just kind of keep it near or over the top of us, potentially drawing more of a southwesterly wind, which could turn it even milder as we do head into the next couple of weeks. As we see from the latest ensembles, there is a cooling trend as we do progress through November, and that is probably because of some of those colder runs with high pressure shifting northwards, like the GFS is showing today, starting to make a bit of an appearance. But again, it is just hints and trends at this stage. Majority of runs do keep that high pressure firmly over the top of us and keeping it dry and mild. So do remember, if you enjoy my videos, make sure you like and subscribe. And remember to follow me on Twitter as well, the link's in the description. Now, if you start on the live radar, recording this around 10pm on Friday evening, and you can see for the first day of November, it has been bone dry once again. A few bits and bobs of drizzle around in some thicker cloud, but generally, it's been pleasant. The only issue is, with that really thick cloud around, it has been that it has felt a little bit miserable in places and of course with the decreasing daylight hours and of course the hour change that we've seen in the past week it has meant that it's getting dark really early compared to only a week or two ago of course we have got the hour change in there but also with all this cloud it does mean that it gets darker 30 40 minutes earlier than if we did have some sun around so it's meaning around 4 p.m it's getting dark uh yeah really not great but again it's kind of what we're swapping instead of seeing wind and rain which is getting held at bay out in the north atlantic now if you look at the temperatures this evening you can see it is still fairly mild a little bit chilly across northern and northeastern scotland so we do have some cold air pushing in you can see it's turning very cold for scandinavia with this high pressure over the top of us it is pushing very cold air into much of northern and eastern europe it's looking like to be very cold there in the next week or two because of this big block that we've got set up over the top of us we saw that in our third winter look ahead yesterday where we did concentrate on the next sort of month to two months and there was quite a strong signal at least in the short to medium range that the next couple of weeks for very cold conditions further eastwards that could trend further westwards too look at that video we put out yesterday but you can see that already happening here that very cold air starting to sink southwards for those eastern regions now if you go over to the latest ukv now and have a look at the precipitation and the temperature over the next five days you can see bits and bobs of rain around over the next 24 hours light and drizzle um, around but really most are dry just a lot of cloud unfortunately and i know that's not ideal again will mean it's getting dark pretty early but yeah it's kind of the trade-off we've got with seeing no precipitation this cloud trapped under higher pressure there could be some slightly drier air pushing in through sunday and maybe monday so it could be a few more breaks in that cloud but generally still remaining cloudy but bone dry all the way through monday through tuesday and into Wednesday. A few bits and bobs of rain down the west, but generally again looking very dry uh, as we do head into next week. Now, do look at the max temperatures as we head into Saturday afternoon. It's a very similar story around the low to mid teens, sort of 10 to 15 degrees. As we head into Sunday, again, very similar, sort of 9 to 13, maybe slightly chillier in a few spots, but still generally very similar temperatures into monday again very similar maybe slightly colder further northwards but again 10 to 12 degrees further south is the top temperature and then into tuesday 
and finally into Wednesday, it's very, very similar. So maybe slightly, uh, something slightly milder into the middle of next week, and that's because we could see a bit more of a southwesterly develop. But at least for the next sort of few days, we're looking hover like we're hovering around average rounds those low double digits to low teens, which really for this time of year isn't too bad at all. Now if we do head into the longer range now and start on the latest GFS. You can see high pressure firmly over the top of us, giving us very dry and mild conditions. As we head into the next week, you can see that high pressure pushes slightly further eastwards and allows a little bit more of an Atlantic influence. But for the time being, it's looking like it's just going to pump up more of a southerly or southwesterly wind. Could be a bit of rain, a bit of cloud further west or for the far west, really. But for most, dry and warm as we start to push up those southerly and southwesterly winds. You can see the upper air temperatures here well above average into next week. So as I said, mid to high teens could be a possibility. Maybe not 20 degrees, but maybe 16, 17, 18 is a possibility into the subsequent days high pressure is still in control but this is where we start to see easterly winds starting to develop the high pressure pushes northwards up towards scandinavia and does push in some pretty chilly easterly winds now we don't have that much cold air to our east at this stage you can see there really isn't that much cold air to tap into but coming off the near continent originating from eastern and northeastern europe it would be chilly it would be a fairly dry air mass if we look at the dew points you can see dew points dropping down substantially in that longer range period um, and yeah we'll just have to keep a close eye on that again interesting signs as we head through uh, november and if we do look at the potential equivalent temperature you can see again it is a cold air mass streaming in from the east and could keep us chilly towards the end of this run whereas at the moment it is quite a lot milder cold air to our northeast heading into eastern portions you see a lot more greens and yellows around so quite a lot milder air now, if you look at the latest GM, it's broadly very similar over the short to medium range. Again, that southwesterly wind potentially coming in into the middle of next week. Again, could be mild and dry. Could be some brief lower pressure pushing in for the far west. Again, we need to keep a close eye on that. But further eastwards, it looks very dry. Big low out to our west, but it doesn't really make any real inroads. And the high pressure remains strong with a very far-fetched southerly wind and you see the upper air temperatures are well above average very mild indeed and if we do look at the surface temperatures you can see again we're looking at sort of high teens 19 20 degrees as possible an indian summer type pattern this is what this uh, is showing uh, it would be very incredible indeed if we saw that again we'll have to wait and see now, if you compare to the latest ECMWF, again, high pressure building in, southerly wind arriving for next week, and that southerly wind could continue towards day 10. Could be a brief break there in the high pressure with a small area of low pressure moving through. Could give some a bit of rain in a few spots in around seven or eight days' time, so a long way away, for eventually we do drag up those southerly to southwesterly winds once again. Now, if you finish by looking at the latest ensembles, very mild over the next week to 10 days. Not really got any runs that back up that GM run, which does go for a bit of an Indian summer type pattern up towards the 15 degree ice firm. Not really seeing many runs showing that, but generally a good five degrees above average, slowly trending back towards average as we do head in towards the middle of the month. And you can see a few colder runs appearing, a little bit more unsettled weather perhaps. Again, we need to keep a close eye on that as again, that could be setting trends for the second half of the month. We're not going to see this high pressure hang around um, for the foreseeable future. Uh, you know, it is going to eventually shift away within the next couple of weeks. I highly doubt beyond sort of maybe the 10th or 15th, we will see this high pressure exactly where it is over the top of us. It will move. And that's what we've got to keep a close eye on over the coming days. Now, if you compare finally to the ECMWF ensembles, the midday has now come out. You can see generally hovering around average or slightly above average, and again trending close towards average or a little bit colder at least into the final few days of the run with slightly higher precipitation, but still generally dry, which gives us a fairly strong indication that there are runs starting to appear that do bring some colder air in, whether that's from an easterly flow, a northerly flow, maybe even a northwesterly flow with the high pressure back out into the Atlantic. We'll have to wait and see, but definitely a few 
runs now starting to show a bit of a change there into the longer range again though i must stress the near to medium future the next seven days high pressure looks like it's going to dominate the next 10 days high pressure looks like it's likely to dominate uh, but i only say likely because out to day 10 you never know things can change quite quickly so again we'll keep a very close eye on it keep you updated uh, but if you are interested in some of them the the longer range forecast the next sort of four to six weeks do check out the video we posted yesterday which goes into depth looking at that sort of end of november in towards december period as we did concentrate on that for the first half of the winter look ahead on thursday so thanks for watching hope you enjoyed subscribe if you're new and i'll see you again for another video soon